there was one incident oh, very interesting when he was magistrate in jagannath puri the system is jagannath temple is a very big establishment ah uh, in the temple 56 times daily bhog is offered and you will find in the temple all is at least 500 to 1000 people gather and they come from outside and prasad is ready if you go and ask in the jagannath temple that we are 100 men come from outside we want prasad yes immediately ready so it is a huge temple this is one temple but there are many other thousands of temple in india where prasad distributed now it is minimized by our present government they think that it is a uh, unnecessary expenditure they are minimizing but not unnecessary expenditure they do not understand oh. formally in india there was no necessity of hotel anyone goes anywhere even in a village ah oh, he goes to a temple the prasad is ready there is no need of going to a hotel you pay or don't pay if you say that i want little prasad yes take it that is the system is still there is a nath of that temple in rajasthan ah uh, you you pay two annas only ah uh, two annas means one cent you get some choice prasad for two months all very nice prasad still the prasad distribution in temple is long standing uh usage so bhakti mein thakur the jagannath temple is managed by a body and it is the custom that the uh, local magistrate of the district he becomes the president or manager so bhakti mein thakur was manager in that sense because he was magistrate uh the managing committee was being presided by him so there was a complaint uh in odisha this jagannath temple is situated in odisha what's called what's called this uh, state was originally belong to dhruva maharaj his son's name was utkal maharaj utkal anyway so this utkal there was a pseudo yogi uh he declared himself that just like you will find nowadays also there are so many rascals declaring that i am incarnation of god and they know some mystic power play some jugglery and foolish people take them or oh, he is god so they are appeared one like such pseudo god uh vishnu uh in a village of orissa and he was dancing rasa dance and foolish people were sending their daughters and wives to dance with him is it there are so many not only that the people are so foolish they do not know they want to be cheated and these cheaters come he declared that i am god i am vishnu uh, so there were same men also they took objection what is this nonsense this is man is dancing with uh, ladies and gentlemen and girls so they uh, file a complaint at that time it was british rule 
the complaint to the governor or the commissioner, very high officer. The commissioner knew that Bhaktivinoda Thakur, his name was Kedarnath Dutta. <coughs> Dutta, Kedarnath Dutta, his household name. So the commissioner of the division, he knew that Kedarnath Dutta is a religious man and his magistrate in charge. So he handed over the case of, for inquiry. What is this complaint? You please inquire and do the needful. <coughs> so he was a pure devotee and he understood that this rascal is a bogus man, cheating people. I must inquire. So he went to the village in plain dress with some constables, police constables. They were also in plain dress. And as soon as he approached that rascal yogi, he said, Oh, you are Kedarnath Dutta. So, very nice. You are, I shall make you king of India. Please don't try to uh, bother me. Because he could know that he has come to inquire about my Ras Leela. <coughs> so, Bhakti Thakur, first of all, said, Sir, you are such a great yogi. Why you are in the village? Why don't you go to Jagannath Puri? There is temple, and Lord Jagannath is there. Better you go there and see the Lord and be happy. Why you are in this village? <coughs> oh, Jagannath! Ah, that is made of wood. I am personally the Supreme Lord. <coughs> that is made of wood. Uh, then Bhakti Thakur was a devotee, he became fire. <laughs> uh, he was insulting. Ache siladhi gurusu naramati. According to Shastra, if somebody thinks, just like here is deity, if somebody thinks, oh, it is made of stone, uh, it is stone to the eyes of the non devotee. But it is personally, supreme personality of Godhead to the devotees. It requires the eyes to see. So devotee sees in a different angle of vision. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he entered Jagannath temple, immediately he fainted. Oh, here is my Lord. And the non devotee is saying it is wood, a lump of wood. Therefore, to the non-devotee, he remains always an wood, but to the devotee, he speaks. That is the difference. Premanjana churita bhakti bilochane. If God is everything, why wood? Through wood and stone, God cannot manifest. If God is everything, according to Mahamad philosophy, that's a fact. God, omnipotent, He can express Himself even through wood and stone. That is God's omnipotence. That is called omnipotence. Not that God is unable to express Himself through wood and stone. Then how is omnipotent? Omnipotent means His potency can be expressed through anything. Because anything, everything is the expansion of God's energy. Parasya Brahmana Shakti, Tathaiva Akhilam Jagat, the whole world is manifestation of different energies of God. Therefore, just like through the energy of electricity, the electric powerhouse, although far, far away from this place, was expressing there is electricity. <coughs> uh, <coughs> through this 
uh, glass to these wares, uh, the power can be expressed. There is a process. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur became very much, uh, because a devotee <coughs> cannot tolerate blaspheming another devotee or God. So as soon as he said that, why shall I go to Jagannath Puri to see the wooden Jagannath? I am personally Vishnu. Bhaktivinoda Thakur immediately ordered his constables arrest him. Arrest this rascal. So he was arrested. And when he was arrested, he had some yogic mystic power. Uh, all the constables, Bhaktivinoda Thakur and his family member became affected with high fever. Uh, 105 degrees fever. So when he came back, his wife became very much disturbed that he arrested Vishnu and we are all going to die. We have got now high fever. Bhaktivedha replied, yes, let us all die, but this rascal must be punished. This is the view of pure devotee. So he was put into the custody and there was a date fixed for his trial. And all these days Bhaktivedha Thakur himself and his family especially, they are suffering from high fever. Maybe that yogi was planning to kill all the whole family, but it was going on as fever. So on the trial day, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Kidanath Dattva, when he came to the bench, the man was presented, the so-called yogi, and he had big, big hairs. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur ordered that bring one barber and cut his hair. So no barber dared. Uh, the barbers thought, oh, he is a Lord Vishnu. If I offend, then he is suffering from fever, so I shall also die. So Bhaktiva Thakur ordered that, give me the scissors, I will cut. <laughs> so he cut his hairs and ordered him to be put into jail for six months, and in the jail, that Vishnu incarnation managed to took some poison and he died. So this is one of the incidents. There are many incidences. He was very a strong man. He punished many pandas in the teeth house who exploit visitors. Oh. So man, this is the position of devotee. Ah. In spite of his becoming a responsible magistrate, ah, a householder, still he was acharya. Ah. So we have to follow the acharyas. If we at all, if we are at all interested in spiritual science, ah, then we must follow the Vedic instruction, tadvigyana, thamsa, guru meva, avigacche. We must approach. You cannot have spiritual knowledge simply by speculating. Impossible. Simply waste 